I'm John Lee and in this video I'm going to detail the solution to question one of the UK actuarial professions subject CS1 specimen paper. Here's the question. Take a moment to read it and then try it yourself. A link to download the paper can be found in the video description if you'd find that more helpful. The 90% confidence interval from part one is 5.47 to 16.0 and the p-value in part 2 is 39.8% and so we will not reject the null hypothesis. I'll now go through the solution. Okay, first thing we need to do is to enter the data into R. So let's enter this in the object before. Don't forget to put some commas in to separate them. And now let's do the data for after. Now we're asked to derive a two-sided 90% confidence interval for the mean difference in the patient's blood pressure before and after. Now the key thing to pick up here is it's the same patient before and after, so we have what's called paired data. To do a confidence interval or test for the difference in means, we use the built-in function t-test. So we do t-test, we enter the two data sets, we need to state that it's a two-sided confidence interval, we need to enter that it's a 90% confidence interval, and then finally we need to specify that it's paired. We can see the confidence interval in the output. Copying that and putting that as a comment with a comma between them. Now let's take a look at part two. Here, we want to perform a t-test that the mean difference in the patient's blood pressure before and after participating in the exercise program is less than or equal to 10 units against an alternative that it is greater than 10 units. And here's the odd thing. It asks us to test this at a significance level of 1%. Okay, well, let's enter this in. We're going to again use the built-in function t-test. We need to enter in the data sets. We need to enter in our null hypothesis that the mean difference is 10. We need to specify that the alternative is greater. And technically the confidence level just gives the confidence interval. It doesn't affect the significance level. But if we set it to 99%, then that'll allow us to double check to see if the null hypothesis is in the confidence interval. And again, we need to specify we have paired data. Running this, we can see our p-value is 0.3979. Putting in our comment, we state that this is greater than the significance level of 1%. Therefore, we don't reject H0. Don't forget to then put your conclusion. We have insufficient evidence to reject H0 at the 1% level. Therefore, it is reasonable to assume that the true difference in means is not greater than 10. 